We did reach top 10, we decayed a little bit to 14, but just because we finished the race doesn't mean our job is over. We still need to hit number 1, which we've never done yet. We've gone close, we've gotten to number 3, number 4, but we've never gotten to number 1. So here we go. Uh, the race to number 1 now, and I'm not competing against anybody, just me and myself right now. They're 2374. So they have a pretty good rating. 88.1 GXC2, okay? This is a huge game, and we start off with a good matchup. I do have the protection of Focus Ash. I have Kyogre, which is good. Oh, that is beautiful. Choice Scarf Water Spout. Calm Mind Lati Kyurem. Oh, this is a really good team to have. I think for now... Yeah, I, I definitely do Thunderbolt here. I can Nasty Plot with Focus Ash Protection, but I think Thunderbolt is overall a... Is it a safer play? Okay, that's good damage. Great damage. Uh, if they go to a ground type, I don't care, I have Decidueye. Okay. Uh, Zerud. Now, Zerud itself is annoying for my team. Should I go to Durant? I can definitely go to Durant here. Or should I focus Blast for damage? Uh, let's get damage off. Okay. Oh, that's a lucky dodge, too. Oh, that is really lucky. And they don't know it, and they forfeit too, that is huge, we enter the 2400s, that's a lucky dodge, and they didn't know it, but with the rude gone, that opened up Kyogre and Lottie. So 2401, let's keep going. That was a really quick game one, and usually you don't see people rage quit uh, this high on the ladder. They usually play it out because maybe they have a chance, but uh, they rage quit, and we're at 2401, so we are in the top 5 now, we'll see if it loads enough. We'll wait for the next game, though. Okay, another good lead matchup here. What is their rating? They are 2208. So we are 2401, they're 2208. We are top 5, though, which is cool. Good lead matchup. We know confirmed it is Iron Fist. It is not... Guts. I mean, it can never be Guts. Okay, we can Willow. They should switch out here. Hmm... Yeah, they should switch out. Oh, we have Bravery. I love Bravery. I love Flapple, too. Avalog is kind of mad. Duraludon's okay. Azelf is okay. I think we we probably always Willow here. Uh, We are Leftover, it's true. Uh, Do we have a Toxic user on our team? We don't, so we might as well get a Willow on whatever we can. Willow Calm Mind is a dangerous moveset. And they're taking a while on turn 1, which makes me a little bit more optimistic that maybe they don't have a good... Okay? Eldegoss is incredibly annoying. Mainly because it does have... Sleep Powder, which I don't like. Um, Should I go to Bravery or Duraludon? I could even try Avalug. I'm just going to take damage here. We get hit by the Sleep Powder, that's fine. Uh, we can even waste a turn trying to wake up, because Eldegoss is not threatening. Okay, now let's try Duraludon. Uh, the burn is okay, all things considered. We did waste one turn here. Should I go for it again, try and get the two turn? Not worth it, we'll go Duraludon. I, I'm half expecting a switch to Hitmonchan. Uh, so maybe I'll... I, I'm thinking of Bravery, but I don't want to re reveal it too early because it's such a match winner. But I think I can. We'll go Duraludon. Okay, worked out. Stealth Rock goes up. They might go straight to Hitmonchan. They do. Let's go to Azelf here. They do have... Oh, they have Rapid Spin. Okay. Uh, That might be like Assault Vest. Should we try Bravery then? Throat Chop's going to come in hard. Okay. Okay, good. We did remove Hitmonchan. Uh, I'm not sure if it was the best decision to do that, but it's not a bad decision. Okay. Uh, we sacrifice here. Okay. Ice Beam. That is Choice Specs. No, no, it can be the G it can be Antillion uh, Gigantamax too. We do have the Life Orb Thunderbolt. 
Bang, let's go! I don't know, that was a really aggressive play to try and focus energy on a Duralodon there. We'll take it. We definitely take that. Now... Reggie Gigath, we don't have body prep. Does Avalug beat it? No, Toxic is really annoying. So do I just straight up Flash Cannon or do I Stealth Rock? I don't want to get too greedy. Let's Flash Cannon. Okay, 34. They substitute. We'll Stealth Rock on Protect. Okay, bad decision by me. Not punished. Never punished. Never punished, okay. We can keep flash cannoning. That's one, two, three, turn four. Not not punished again. Turn five. They're gonna keep substituting. Or not. Okay, so we're gonna be able to beat the Reggie Gigas here with Avalug. Okay, I, yeah, I'm happy to trade Duralodon. Okay, good. We have the Broken Bravery, Stealth Rock up, and a 4-3 lead. C honestly, 4-2, because Eldegoss is such a bad Pokemon. 4-2 lead. And they have... So we do have Sucker Punch, which I like. We have Sturdy, too. We have to Body Press here. Okay. I like Sucker Punch on Flapple, but yeah, we'll have to sacrifice Avalug. Omastar can be a very oh, they're gonna Dynamax, okay. Uh, let's. I just want to check if Dynamax Bravery can take on the Omastar here, so we'll give it the plus two special attack and Dynamax, and we Dynamax too. We do take it on. Okay, that's good to... Uh, let me just double check that. In the rain. Ooh, there's a... Chance that Bravery can get the job done. I mean, there's a chance that Omastar can break through. Let me... Hailstorm not doing enough. Uh, We'll have to take our chances here. Yeah, we'll have to take our chances here. We are very likely to live. But very likely is obviously not 100%. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Like, it's like literally like, what, 1%? Not 5%? Uh, if you add in crits, maybe like 6 to 7%. Uh, but here we go. Should we... Should we sacrifice a Pokemon? That's kind of a... Uh, should I- should we sacrifice Gardevoir, then go to Bravery? That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. We sa sacrifice Gardevoir, and then we can go to Bravery, and then we'll have a Dynamax too. Yeah, we- we go to Gardevoir- no, uh, hmm, okay. So, pros and cons, if I stay in right now, I don't always knock it out either. Yeah, I think I go to Gardevoir. I sacri I want to keep Bravery as my Dynamax. No. No, 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 no. Okay, I have time. I have time. So this is at 23, which means that anywhere from 22.1 to 22.9, essentially. Uh, And that Max Knuckle is doing 110. How much is 110 here? 110 is 22. Uh, I I don't want to risk... No, it's fine. If I don't knock it out, Flapple can Sucker Punch. Okay? Okay, that sh this should work. Got it, okay. Now, yeah, we did keep Gardevoir alive. I didn't have to sacrifice it. We have a Dynamax Bravery, plus one attack. If they have a Speedster in the back, they have Dragonite. Which does not outspeed, okay? And extreme speed would be annoying. That would be the problem. But... Okay, so extreme speed is annoying. Okay, we hit that. 51, great damage. They Dragon Dance. They don't. 
164 Flapple outspeeds. I think I go for the Flapple win. Yeah, I go for the Flapple win. We do outspeed. We go for the Flapple win if we if they dodge, you know, that's life. But we go for the Flapple win here. Got it? There we go. Now, I, I believe Gardevoir literally wins 1v1, but we don't need it. Incredible. We move up to 2411. Let's keep going. That would put us in number three. Here we go. Oh, we get the Rage Quit guy again. Okay. Uh, this cannot break through Blissey. We can go straight to it. Nasty plot. Toxic. Tornado does not break through, for sure. Um, That does do well. We have... Kyogre again. We have Lando again. We have Lurantis. I like Lurantis here. Head Smash. No Stealth Rock. Okay, we can Defog. Easy. Toxic coming in. This looks like a Leaf Storm to me. Uh, we'll Defog here. They're gonna keep doing it. Um. Oh, if they predict me here. Okay, good. Steal it's gone. Lurantis goes low, but uh, let's keep it alive, why don't we? Okay, we did keep it alive. Let's throw another one off. No way, they have two steel types. There we go. Got it, okay. Close combat, everything's a threat. Ooh, I kind of like Garboder with T-Spike here. Um, should I sacrifice Lurantis now? It's a little bit early for that. Let's go Garboder for the one time. They do bulk up. We're very clearly baiting in Plasma Fist. Their aura, I believe, is Life Orb. We probably live a hit straight up. Let's check our Dynamaxes here. Let's put this back to 100. So, Life Orb? That does nothing. But Pain Split or T-Spike? Which one should we do? The T-Spike... Huh. The T-Spike could be good with Calm Mind Kyogre too. Let's get a T-Spike up. Okay. Life Orb Recoil. There we go. Expected. Aftermath should be incredibly punishing here. Okay. 25. Recoil. Okay, that's great. Now, they would always go to a poison type if they have it, so we always pick a ground type. Lando feels the most threatening. If they have a poison type, they don't. They go to Snorlax. Okay. Do we knock off Focus Blast, or do we go to Ride On straight up? I think I like knock off. Choice Band gone. Incredible. Oh, Facade. That's tough. Do we knock it out in one hit? Do we knock it out in one hit? We do have our Landorus here. Focus Blast does 63. So we do not knock it out in one hit. Does this have heavy duty boots? It does. So Stealth Rock Rhydon is not great. Uh, Lurantis is an idea. Do I Earth Power for guaranteed damage? Or do I Focus Blast for the KO after Poison? Earth Power is great. It really is a great move. 96, right on outspeed. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for it all. That was a unfortunate result. But I, I feel like they literally might keep Snorlax alive here. Whatever. They don't. Good, good, good. So that worked out. Okay, we do have one special attacker handled with Blissey. We have T-Spikes for everything else, okay. Oh, I am scared of... Uh, I'm scared of what Tornadus can do to me. Uh, should we faint on purpose here? Yeah, they're gonna Nasty Plot, okay. I'm, I'm incredibly scared of Dynamax Tornadus here. Okay. Can Tornadus beat Blissey here? 
special attack plus four with the Dynamax. How much does that? That's 65. And uh, we're talking about a, a Tornadus at 22%. Uh, give me Seismic Toss. Okay. Seismic Toss does not do enough. Okay. Have I ever done this before in my life? Never. Is it the right play, too? There's no way it's the right play. Oh, <laughs> that does that does 2% of damage. Okay. Uh, we'll toss for the one time. Okay, we dodge. They don't even go for Dynamax. Okay, that, that Hurricane Mist could be incredibly good. Like, game-changingly good. Okay, we have Kyogre, which matches up well. Straight to Kyogre, close combat. Is that Bandit? No way. If there's ever a time to Dynamax, it would be now. Here we go. Got it. <laughs> they have two Cal- I've never actually seen double Caldrix before. That's actually really problematic. So Rhydon can one-hit KO with Stone- not st not one-hit KO, it can do a lot with- with... Okay, we definitely- Trick Room, we don't definitely win. So we for sure live a hit. We for sure live a hit. And then we would need to stall out... Uh... Okay, we definitely live the hit. Here we go. Yeah, no- no doubt about it. 24-25? Three games done, 24-25. And that we're, we're at number two. We're literally at number two. Let's keep going. And the ladder did update. We are number two. We are very close to number one. We're 35 points away. That's like three to four games left. Maybe even three, two to four games left. We are really getting up there now. And we get a game. They are rated 2196. Not great. We do have a good lead matchup. Nothing hits Dialga super effectively. Archeops is okay. Scrafty situational. Hitmontop situational. Yuxi okay. We have an okay team. Voltunt is Focus Sash and should Volt switch out here. I don't think it has any uh, business trying to stay in here. So we're looking decent on the lead. They go to Chansey, okay. Scrafty feels like an easy switch in here. No, or Hitmontop. Hitmontop can rapid spin in case they have Stealth Rock. That's fine. We'll triple axle into hopefully like a ghost type maybe. Chansey should not be staying in here. Okay, Necrozma. One, two, three. Big damage. Scrafty beats this straight up. Okay, so Scrafty is looking incredible here. Do I want to reveal it so early? I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. We do have Stealth Rock up for the Focus Ash Bolt Hunt, which is good. They should recover. They Stealth Rock, that's fine too. The problem is we don't outspeed Bolt Hunt and it can have Play Rough. So I'm just going to knock off for now. I think I can afford to be patient with Scrafty. It's not incredibly... Yeah, because exactly. So the hard Bolt Hunt, it's bas he's basically telling me he does have Play Rough. He does have Play Rough. Uh, let's go to Dialga. Okay. Okay. Now, on turn one, he didn't Volt Switch for whatever reason. So I think maybe he doesn't have it. We're going to go to Scrafty on Chansey here. There we go. As easy as you like it. And the urgency that they went to Bolton makes me believe they, they really do struggle versus Scrafty here. So does that so knowing that information that they're weak to Scrafty, how do I play it now? Do I Dragon Dance and try and get a second Dragon Dance to outspeed Bolt Hunt, or do I stay happy with just throwing off knockoffs and close combat? I'm thinking I can go for the double Dragon Dance. Okay? They go to Rillaboom here. Do I know anything about the item? No Grassy Seed, it could be Choice Band, it could be Life Orb. Is that enough information for me to feel like I should Dynamax here? Rillaboom, they are definitely weak to um, 
It's crafty. Attack plus one. Hail, what? Okay, that, that is weak because it is... Okay. So Hailstorm doesn't one-hit KO. Hmm. Hailstorm does not one-hit KO. Does Boltwins play rough KO if I'm Dynamaxed? It doesn't. Should I go for it then? Uh, can this have superpower? It cannot, okay. You know, doing all... So Digger's B is good too, by the way. I think I will go for it. I think I'll go for it all. Got it. We got it in one hit, which was unlikely. So that was lucky. That was an unlikely event. But it was... Uh, hopefully it worked out. Now they go to Bolt Hunt. Does Dynamax Bolt Hunt knock us out? So we do know it's Focus Sash. We are Dynamax too. Focus Sash. Dynamax Bolt Hunt. We're both Dynamaxed. We would take 60. So they go to Rhyperior instead. I'm okay with that. Are they going to Dynamax Rhyperior? They might. They very well could. I don't feel comfortable knuckling into weakness policy. So I'm just going to Darkness. Yeah, they do Dynamax. So they, as suspected, they are weak to Scrafty. Uh, knowing that they're weak to Scrafty, do I try and make a predict? For example, do I go to Yuxi here? Uh, Hitmon Top is good too. Uh, we have time on the clock, 60 seconds. I'm using a lot of calc time lately. We have double Dynamax here. We would take maybe 20% of damage. Um... Do we want it? We can afford to take that much damage, because we have we can set up on Pokemon like Chansey and Necrozma. Let's just take damage here. 20. Okay. Okay. Let's knock off. Yeah, let's knock off the item. Okay. Okay. And now we can close combat. Yeah, okay. We we got value. We definitely got value out of Scrafty here. Okay. Bold Hoon coming in next. They forfeit. Okay, great. 24-33. Let's keep going. I mean, why not? We're on a good run. Let's keep going. 24-33 is not close enough, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah. And I'm noticing something very interesting here. We are moving up, but there's someone at number 3 who's also moving up at the same time. So they are very likely laddering right now with me at the same time. So we might even match up versus a number 3 player right now. Because this rating keeps on changing. So we could be matched up versus them next. Okay, here we are. Game number 5 there. 22-11. So we'll get like 10 rating points if we win. Uh, I don't hate the team. Eternatus is fine. Rotom is fine. I'm just going to straight up an Ice Beam here. We have these... No, we don't outspeed. We don't outspeed. Okay, I was I was wrong. We don't outspeed. Do we take it on, though? Farfetch'd versus Regice. I don't know if we take it on. Turn off the Dynamax on everything. Really annoying. Okay. Uh, do we take it on? We do take it on. We take it on very well, in fact. Here we go. Unless it crits. No crit. And we take it on. Great value out of Regice. Usually not a very good Pokemon. It's very situational, but it found itself in a good situation here. Six on five lead. Farfetch itself, not like an amazing, like I really care about it being gone. We do have a counter in Whimsicott. There we go. They Iron Tailed, which I didn't expect. I thought it would that would be too risky of a move into Regice, but we're fine. U-turn, Eternatus. There we go. Uh, we can Dynamax Cannon. We don't need to recover. With Black Sludge, 75 is fine. Sil Valley Dark taking a lot of damage here. No, that's actually nothing. Not bad, actually. Uh, Psychic Fangs is the immediate concern here. I can't take it on too well. In fact, we don't take it all. We don't take it on at all. Flame Charge 2 doesn't have Flame Charge. Uh, Red Dice doesn't feel like a match winner. Whimsicott, on the other hand, does feel good. Will Toxic and Sacrifice Red Dice. It's going to Swords Dance here. 
or not. That is not a good decision. Now we can heal up all the way. Okay. Now the sword dance, okay. Now, if Sylvali Dark is the Eternatus counter, it's not looking good. I don't think I need Regice anymore. I do have Gudra for special defense stuff. I do have Gudra if I ever want to do anything special defense related. We'll go to Whimsicott. Thankfully, this doesn't have Flame Charge. There we go. That's gone. Uh, no way they go to Pikachu. They'll have to go to something different. We can U-turn on that. Gyarados, should I taunt it? Huh. I don't have T-Bolt on Gudra, unfortunately. This can have Earthquake, which is a problem. My gut is telling me to taunt. My gut is telling me to taunt. I'm gonna trust it here. So, 188, we do outspeed with Rotom. If it push comes to shove, we, that does happen. Taunt? Okay. My gut kind of did the job there. Didn't do a great job. Do I Moonblast for damage? Rotom, by the way, is looking great. Do I Moonblast for damage or U-turn into Gudra, for example? I like Gudra because you can fake, uh, you can fake Thunderbolt. Yeah, I like Gudra because you can fake Thunderbolt. I don't think a- there's no Gyarados alive that tries to stay in here. Yeah, got it? We don't have Power Whip, unfortunately. We can threaten Power Whip, though. Uh. I think I Draco here straight up because Tyson Toad is good versus my team. Okay, 49. Uh, Rain Dance coming in. We'll go to Rotom. This might be the worst Marowak Alola of all time. Haven't seen a matchup that bad in quite a while. Dynamax Eternatus is still in play. Uh, we, we, we are never going to lose Rotom here. We never want to lose Rotom. We'll go to Gudra if they predict. Good for them. They don't. No prediction made. Excellent. <laughs> the question here is, do we try and make a play? Do we go to Rotom again? I don't think I do. Rotom is just way too valuable for me. I'm going to Earthquake. Got it. We got the predict. Oh, uh, Do we have the T-Bolt bluff? We don't have the T-Bolt bluff. But... So we're in trouble. We're, we are in trouble for sure. We go straight to Rotom. And we max Lightning. This is our only play. Pikachu, I believe, is Lightning Rod. They make they make the play. Yeah. Uh, realistically, we couldn't have... Uh, should I... Should I... Lightning again? What's their rating? 22-11. Should I do it? Should I Lightning Rod? Should I Lightning again? They're, they're obvious. No, I think I Flare, because Flare is always good for Waterfall. Okay, good thing. I was literally about to Electric into that. Good thing I didn't choke. Rotom is well positioned here. Well, not that well positioned, actually. Let's go to Whimsicott. Swords Dance. Don't we win? I think we win now. They're gonna Dynam- There's no way they Dynamax Garchomp. Okay, good. Uh, we have to Eternatus here. And we're going to back Toxic to get the job done. We're going to back Toxic to get the job done. Poison type can never miss Toxic. Good. Oh, is this Bandit? This is Choice Bandit Gyarados. This is Choice Banded Gyarados, it's not even Dragon Dance, okay. So the problem here is... I, um, I think I straight up recover. Or do I Dynamax Cannon for damage? I think I can afford to get one straight up recover. Please use a water move here. The Airstream, okay. I can't afford to get swept by Earthquake, we're gonna go to Gudra. This is a choice banded Gyarados. Okay. And we go to Eternatus now. And if they Earthquake, 
then Rotom wins. Right? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they weren't Choice Banded. I thought they were Choice Banded. The way they Dynamaxed on Eternatus. No. Oh, we lose it right at the last Pokemon, too. Oh, we dropped a 2402. That's tragic. Let's get one more game to avoid decay. You need to play six games to avoid decay. That's tragic. All the progress we've made, we've lost it in one game. Uh, unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. We'll get one more game. We get this guy again. We've played him like a lot. We do have Broken Glalie. Uh, we do have Calm Mind Sylveon. We have Klefki too. Broken Glalie is a match winner. I think they should be scared of Triple Axel, right? Let's Swords Dance. Oh no, don't Heat Wave me. Don't Heat Wave me. Discharge, I can live with that. Okay. This is, uh, Knockoff is my strongest move. Not strong enough, apparently. Okay. Okay, so that is, I mean, I'm not sure that's a good trade, but it, it, it is a trade by definition. Oh, we're really weak to Magnazone here. Oh, we are really weak to Magnazone. It beats our entire team. Hmm. Magnazone beats our entire team. We'll have to go to Slowbro. Critical hit. We'll have to trick it. Okay. Now let's lose Weavile. On the Flash Cannon. Like... Uh, I hope they don't Dynamax here. Are you kidding me? Oh, they have everything. That's a big problem for... So we have... The best hazard core of all time against the Zatu. Hmm. We have the best hazard core of all time, but we're fighting Zatu. And I gave the Magnus on it. Oh, this is a terrible matchup. And like literally, we cannot outplay Magnazone. Everything on our team loses to it. We'll have to try and bait the Dynamax from Magnazone. That's the only thing I can think of. Or we have to get really lucky with, um, Glalie. But how do we get lucky versus Glalie when we have to fight a Clef- when we have to fight a Zatu? Yeah, this is- this is un this is an unplayable matchup. We'll have to dodge T-Wave with Zatu. That's really the only thing I'm looking at here. Okay, we lowered attack doesn't mean anything though. Oh, this is not good. We'll go to Zatu. Uh, we get the wrong boost. Okay, we'll protect. We need a speed boost here. Okay. Okay. Attack. I don't need attack. Uh, we'll try Sylveon. We'll try and wish into the Glalie. Yep, and here comes trouble. We can lose Klefki. Go to Glalie now. We'll protect. And they, ha they have they have a counter to everything. Oh, this is a truly unplayable matchup. Yeah, Zatu Shed Ninja. Uh, D Hailstorm doesn't even get triggered. Okay. Oh, this is a... This is like a counter team to the maximum, okay? The problem is that they can always go Shin Ninja, so we'll try. Yeah, whatever. And with that, we lose all the progress we've made, and we're back at 2381. Thank you for watching, and that is tragic. Uh, but we'll go for number one next, uh, next time.